was there that night. I was the bloke that patted you on the back. I was the bloke that gave you a rub on your little baldy head. We were part of it. We shared this with you. Do you remember that night, Campbell? And he'll say, I'm never, ever going to forget it. Look at this. He's pushing through the crowd. He's up on the stage. There's Campbell Newman, the new Premier for Queensland. He's about to embrace the crowd verbally and enjoy this moment here now. Look at Lisa. I think she's on the edge of tears. I think we're going to see a few tears from Lisa Newman in a few moments' time. Here we go. Here, we'll take it now. Here's Campbell Newman with his acceptance speech to become the Premier of Queensland. That's enough, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all. Thank you, Con. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank all Queenslanders this evening for voting for change. I want to thank the people of Ashgrove for voting for change. Ladies and gentlemen, we said all along that this election was all about you. The good, hard-working people, the passionate and dedicated people, the people who work hard every single day to raise their families, to support their communities and to grow our economy. I thank you for your support. You, I thank you for your trust. We will keep our promises and we will, will not let you down. You have spoken decisively and emphatically and delivered a strong government so that we can deliver for you and get this great state back on track. say this evening that we're all humbled by the responsibility that you have given us, a responsibility that actually weighs heavily, but it is cheerfully accepted. <laughs> I, I pledge to you that we will conduct ourselves with humility, grace and dignity. We will work for all Queenslanders regardless of their vote tonight. Yeah. Tonight I acknowledge that many of you have never voted for the Liberal Party, never voted for the National Party before and never voted for the LNP. So I thank you for your support. It's an honour that you would trust us with this responsibility by handing us that vote. Thank you. The priority of our government is to get our economy moving and to sort out our state's finances. We don't, for a moment, underestimate the magnitude of the task ahead. It will be long, it will be hard, but we're going to get on and deliver on that job starting with tomorrow. The job starts tomorrow. It starts tomorrow morning. And we're determined to do it together with all Queenslanders from across this great state. We're determined that Queenslanders will walk tall as citizens of the greatest state in the greatest country. Hey. 
Now, I have a few people from the ACT with me, and you, you look... <laughs> did you... Well, did, yes, I, but you notice they looked a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> well, we don't care, do we? <laughs> uh, I want to acknowledge and thank the Premier for her service to Queensland, and particularly, I think it's appropriate this evening that we all thank her and particularly acknowledge her inspirational leadership during the 2011 floods and Cyclone Yasi. So would you please applaud the Premier. I also want to acknowledge my opponent, uh, Kate Jones, for her service and hard work to the people of Ashgrove uh, since she's been the elected member. Uh, to my wife, Lisa. My family, Lisa, Rebecca and Sarah, and to our wider family. Th thank you for your love and support. I'm so very proud of you, OK? Thank you for your forbearance and patience. I I've thanked my mum. She's part of my wider family. <laughs> I didn't like the look she took when I talked about Queensland before. <laughs> To my friends and colleagues, Jeff Sini and Tim Nichols. Uh, I'm proud of what we've achieved together over the last year and three days, but who's counting? Uh, but I'm particularly proud of what I know that we and other members of the team will achieve for Queenslanders in the years to come. To my parliamentary colleagues and to all our candidates, well done. Well done. Yeah. But understand this, understand this, the job starts tomorrow. To Bruce McIver, to Gary Spence, to James McGrath, Michael O'Dwyer, To you, ladies and gentlemen, and the 14,000 members of the Liberal National Party, you have, through your efforts, delivered this change for Queensland. <laughs> Finally, to all Queenslanders, thank you once again. This is all about you. It will always, always be about you. With your support, with the support of all Queenslanders, we pledge tonight to make this great state a can-do place once more. Thank you. Thank you all. And there he is, the man set to take the reins of the state, LNP leader Campbell Newman, with his family, uh, extended family and supporters at the Hilton, and we understand that he will make his way uh, across to Ashgrove uh, for a party. Um, uh, so there are the two speeches up against each other, from Anna Bly and then from Campbell Newman. And uh, Laurie, what, what did you think? He certainly made reference to those words, humility, grace and dignity. He did. He played that up and he said the job starts tomorrow. Uh, he said that uh, he'll govern for all Queenslanders. And the last line, not a bad one either, from Kendu Newman, he wants to make Queensland a can-do place once again. Mm. It was a pretty good speech, and mm. I particularly liked the recognition of, uh, of Anna Bly. Mm. That, that was, uh, I thought, generous, uh, leading a round mm. of applause for the, the, uh, the Premier that he's defeated. Right. Uh, and and mm. for his opponent in, in Ashgrove as well. I, mm. I, I think he, he, he struck the right note. I think it's a very good mm. start to his Premiership. Mm. I thought it was very generous. I thought it was clever. I think the fact